Hi everyone, Enad Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today I'm going to teach you how to make envelopes and then how to bind these envelopes into a really cute mini album. So I'm going to use a Martha Stewart scoreboard but if you don't have that I'm going to show you how you can make the envelopes without it and you also have all the measurements for all the envelope sizes in the description under the video. So let's get started. You have this addition in the Martha Stewart scoreboard that is especially for making envelopes. So you have all the measurements here listed and as I said you can find all of that in the cutting guide and instructions in the link under the video. So we're going to align the paper. We're going to use a five and a half by five and a half paper and going to score it at two inches. Flip it 180 degrees and again score it at two inches. This is the A line. Now we're going to score the B line at two and a half. We're going to score two lines one on each side like we did with the A lines and this is basically everything you need to make an envelope and again you have all the measurements of the papers and where to score the lines in the description under the video so you see we have four score lines and I'm going to move this aside and show you how you can do this without a scoreboard so what you need to do, I'm going to move a little bit closer so you can see. So what you need to do is take your five and a half by five and a half double-sided cardstock and align it, align the corner with the two inch mark. What you need to make sure is that you align it also with the top and the bottom lines so you'll make sure that it's centered as well as aligned. See now it's not centered, I've moved it. So you have to make sure it's centered so the two inch line is going to be exactly parallel to the other line and in place. And we're going to do that exactly the same thing on the other side. Align it, the corner with two inches and then score. Then you're going to do the B line, align the corner with two and a half and with the top and bottom lines to make sure it's centered because now the line, line B has to be exactly vertical with line A. So that's why you need to align everything. And then you're going to align it and score it. So once you have all the lines scored, we can go ahead and make our envelopes. So what we need to do is you will see that where the score line meet, you have a little triangle and we're going to cut out this triangle. There's four of them. So we're going to cut all four triangles on all four sides. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and fold on all the score lines and basically that is your envelope. You can also make it from just one sided pattern paper where the other side is white because we're not going to see the white part of the paper. So it's up to you. So now fold in the two smaller sides, apply glue and close your envelope. Okay, so we have our first envelope. Let's do the other one as well. Really cute. So we're going to cut out all the four triangles from the corners and then we're going to fold all the score lines then we're going to close the two smaller parts, apply glue, and close the envelope. Now I've made eight envelopes. You'll need 
Actually, you can make as many envelopes as you want for our mini album. It's up to you. I made eight. You can make four, ten, however you want. And I'm going to start with the first envelope. Let's put this aside. And I'm going to fold the triangle opening of the envelope towards the back. Then I'm going to bring a second envelope. And that part that closes the triangle is going to go inside. We're going to flip the envelope and that's going to go inside the first envelope like this. Okay, so we need to apply glue. Just going to cut out the edge a little bit so it won't interfere with it going smoothly into the opening. So just put a little bit of glue so it will be attached strongly and properly and insert that triangle all the way in until the fold line. And then fold the envelope back. And that is how you're going to attach all the other envelopes and create your mini album. So let's bring another envelope this one goes inside and folded back. Just checking everything first before I add the glue. Just want to make sure it goes all the way in then fold it. And just keep on going with the other envelopes. Add your glue and insert the triangle inside the envelope and fold back. So I'm playing with the colors and the patterns of the envelopes that I created. And basically what we're going to end up with is a pocket mini album that one side of each page is a pocket created by the envelope and the other side is just a plain regular page that you can add anything you want to. So this is a really cool little mini album. And of course you can use your envelopes for cards, for gifts, for money, for whatever else you need. And again, you have the measurements for all kinds of sizes of envelopes in the description under the video. So you can go ahead and click that link and download all the instructions and all the measurements. So I'm almost done with attaching all my pages. And if you see that it's too wide, just trim slightly at the edge. Make sure that it fits. Sometimes when you fold it moves a little bit or something like that and then there is a very very narrow addition that interferes with it going into its place properly so you can just cut it okay so this is going to be the last page and then we're going to add this and once that's in remember we still have one triangle that is folded to the back on the first page remember that one this one we're going to open it and fold it all the way to the front and complete the cover of our mini album. So just add your glue and close the mini album and you're done. I think this is a really cool project and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything like this cool project. And look how cute that is. And of course, the size of the mini album depends on the size of your envelopes. So here, the mini album, how it looks. Really, really cool. So I want to thank everyone for joining me. I really hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.